Well, my next guest is now running for that spot. Joining us exclusively, Oklahoma Congressman Kevin Hearn. Congressman, uh, thanks for being here. You heard Mark Green make your case that you're the guy. Well, Mark's a dear friend of mine. We came in together. He's a, he's a great leader himself. But, but can you make the case that you can unite all these various factions that had, have been having so much trouble coming up with a speaker? Absolutely. You know, every person running, we don't know the total number yet, but every person running is going to say they can do it. The question is going to be, have they done it and are they doing it? And what I mean by that is, is for 25 years before coming to Congress, I spent my entire career working alongside other franchisees at McDonald's, 3,000 from coast to coast, border to border, dissimilar interests, bringing them together so we could have a functioning organization. And now, for the last 10 months, in the majority, I've chaired the Republican Study Committee, which is the conservative conscience of the conference, of the Republican conference, almost 180 members, 80 percent of the conference, who I've had dialogue with every single week on these policies, on the politics of what's going on. And plus, on top of that, I served on the five families, the five caucus leadership group with Speaker McCarthy for the, almost the last year working through these policies. So I know all these dissimilar interests, what needs to be done, and I look forward to doing this as the next Speaker well, of the House. You mentioned your business experience. You're a self-made businessman. I guess you were a manager of a McDonald's, and you became a, a franchise owner. So you must have had experience taking over kind of a dysfunctional business and knocking heads together and getting it to work. Is, is that the kind of experience that it's going to take in order to get all these various sides together? Well, David, what I found out is, uh, you know, as I looked at this, running for the RSC chair, which only the members can put you in that position, not in the leadership of the conference, is that people just simply want to be heard. They want to be valued. So I spent all of my time listening to people. I learned that after, you know, almost 35 years in the McDonald's business. People just want to be valued in their opinions. And when you come to Congress, everybody's the CEO of their own district, you know, so we have 220 CEOs. And somebody gets picked out of that to be the, you know, the class president, if you will. And you got to listen to everybody and you got to bring people together. And so that's what I've been doing for 25 years uh, prior to Congress and now doing in the last you know, year as the RSC chair. And I'll do going forward as Speaker of the House. Yeah. I, w one thing I just can't understand. Why did some people vote for McCarthy yesterday after McCarthy himself put Jim Jordan in for the nomination? I, I can't figure that one out. Explain it quickly. Well, I don't know either. I, you know, I certainly supported Jim Jordan. I supported whoever won the majority in the basement. I think we've got to follow the rules we have, and that's important. And so we'll certainly be pushing as we go forward. And I, I supported right. Jim Jordan three times. And we've got to move this, move this forward, get a Speaker of the House. America needs it. Well, i got to ask final question. Why would you want this job after, after it's been such heartache for so many people who have tried to do it? You know, I came up here not to be somebody but to do something. And that's important. You know, we've got to get our, our Republican conference back open and going, push back on the Democrat policies. Joe Biden, you heard the ambassador say some of the failed policy in Iran is believed to have led what Hamas is doing and what Hezbollah is potentially doing in northern Israel. We've got to make sure that the world is secure. We're seeing what China is trying to do in Taiwan. We know what Russia is doing in Ukraine. The world is a very hot spot uh, that we've got to work on. And the border security, economic security and energy security is so important to our our American citizens, and we need leadership in the House. Yeah, well, if you're successful, I, I just hope your, your family's prepared not to see you for a couple of years if, if you are successful. Congressman Hearn, best of luck to you, sir. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.